Swami Shivananda's Ashram, the Divine Life Society in Rishikesh, India. This film is brought to you by Swami Vishudevananda's Archives at Samadhi Estates, Yogi Camp, Quebec, Canada. Ah, these are the qualities which an aspirant should possess. Serenity, regularity, absence of vanity, sincerity, simplicity, veracity. Serenity, regularity, absence of vanity, sincerity, simplicity, veracity. Equanimity, fixity, non-repressivity. Equanimity, fixity, non-irritability. Adaptability, humility, tenacity. Adaptability, humility, tenacity. Integrity, nobility, magnanimity. Nobility, magnanimity. Charity, generosity, purity. Charity, generosity, purity. Practicality, safety, need. Practicality, safety, need. Brahman is the only real entity. Mr. Soyan so is a false non entity. Brahman is the only real entity. Mr. Soyan so is a false non entity. Serenity, regularity, absence of vanity, sincerity, simplicity, veracity. Talk to you today on the efficacy or repetition of Maha Mantra as described in Kali Santana Upanishad. At the end of Dhapara Yuga, Narada went to Brahma and said, O Lord, how can I cross Kali or the mundane existence easily? Brahma replied, Well asked, hearken to that which all the Vedas keep secret and hidden through which one may cross the samsara or mundane existence. He destroys the evil effects of Kali through the mere uttering of the word Lord Narayana, who is the primeval Purusha. Narada asked Brahma, O Venerable Lord, what is the name? Brahma replied, the names are Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. These sixteen Names destroy the evil effects of Kali or sins. There is no better means than this in all the Vedas. The sixteen names destroy the avarana or the veil of ignorance that has enveloped the jiva or the human beings. Then just as the sun shines fully after the clouds are dispersed, so also Parabrahman or Supreme Self alone shines after the veil is removed. Narada asked, O Lord, what are the rules to be observed when one utters these names? Brahma replied, O Rishi there are no rules. Whoever repeats these names three and a half crores or thirty-five million times in a pure or impure state, he is freed at once from all sins. He is at once released from all bondages. He emerges himself in the Lord and attains eternal bliss and immortality. The Jiva has sixteen kalas corresponding to which sixteen words or names are given in this Maha Mantra. This is very good for repetition during Akanda Kirtan. 
If you repeat this mantra 20,000 times per day, you will finish three and a half crores within five years. You can sing this mantra and can do japa also. You can write this mantra in a notebook as well as japa. The name of God chanted in any way correctly or incorrectly, knowingly or unknowingly, carefully or carelessly, is sure to give the desired result. The glory of the name of God cannot be established through reasoning and intellect. It can certainly be experienced or realized through devotion, faith, and constant repetition of the names only. Every name is filled with the countless potencies or shaktis. The power of name is ineffable. Its glory is indescribable. The efficiency and inherent shakti of the name of God is unfathomable. May you attain God consciousness by repetition of the names of God as described above. May you have real taste for the names of the Lord. Om. Go in the 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 go in the